Alright, shallow warm to the home team. Nine spiral. Fair use. YouTube fair use. This is purpose for criticism, reporting, teaching, educational purpose. And you can contact these folks down here. I get you a number as soon as they get to me. Uh you got a warning sign here. Section 107. Let's cook, let's cook, let's cook, ha <laughs> ha, mm-hmm, shallow warm to the home team, top of the morning, we gonna get it in, we gonna cook, and what are we cooking up, we're cooking up abominations, you see it, indeed, we are talking about the races of men, This is what you call truth. I keep telling y'all, man, don't run from the truth. Come towards it. The truth loves you. Mm -hmm. We advocating for the truth in 2021. In 2022, we will not accept nothing less. Mm -hmm. Press one. We will not accept nothing less. Press one. <laughs> hey, y'all be checking out that clown ass Kevin Gill, Kev Gills, but goddamn. But these niggas on YouTube, wild, I tell you, bro. So hopefully people get tired of the bullshit and head on over to the real channels like 432 to drop yourself the real natural by law we're gonna get some natural by law by the way i'm bringing the con and kurimio's channel right my jigger five eyes my you feel me or you can just go to 432thedrop.com. I'm going to tell you like this, y'all. Playtime over with. All right, let's get into it. We rocking with John Levi. Let's go. Seeming to be a people with no head, uh -huh. or at least not the kind of head that we have. Uh -huh. Their head is built into their chest, and perhaps their brain is their heart, wow. which would make more sense. And the hair... And here are a few different creatures okay, now. Okay. The two-headed person, the head-on-the-chest type person, a cyclops, and what seems like the beginning of the... And so I'm going to title this video because, you know, you had all this shit popping off. You know, you got, got sinus of filing, right? they them Canaanite motherfuckers, right? Not a dog should move his tongue. Ooh, <laughs> most high snapping on him, right? You got the Cyclops. Y'all think this shit play play. This shit is very serious and real. I guess that's a Bigfoot. No pun intended. And you got these little dwarf two-headed people. So, yeah. So, um, somebody been playing God. And that somebody came out of Northern Africa. And we know the names of the tribes. And we're going to expose them. Or well, we've been exposing them. I don't give a damn how you feel about it. Uh, so, yeah, this is what was going on. Wow. But we're going to focus on... So, I'm going to title this video, Oh, uh, Chest Face Ass, nigga. There you go. Mermaid. Perhaps an offshoot. And again, really fascinating. We're going to look at some real mer people coming up here. And like I said, a real picture 
of one of these chest heads. And of course we had cat and dog heads depicted in the old world. In fact, there were saints that were said to have been dog heads. Saints, huh? Well, I'm glad you said that, John, because uh, you just set my, my format up pretty good. They were looked at as what? Gods, right? So who brought these motherfucking things, these detestable things, over here? We're going to dig into it. Let's go. And could these beings been the first prototypes for man or just... No, just straight up abominations. That's all. For whatever. Again, the mermaid, the cyclops, and even this doghead being a famous saint. But yeah, you're right. They had to, you know, they had to get it right, right? So they had to start somewhere. The Saint Christopher was just one example. Right. Are commonly you referenced. Word of Curry Mio, man. Word of Curry Mio. I just thought about something. Oh, nah, it's something about this smooth jazz in the morning, man. And a cup of coffee. With some iodine drops in there. For a uh, good thyroid support. Man, what you talking about? Uh, uh, splash a little uh, boron. A little carp in there. Ooh. All right, look here, man. We all stay on the same street, right? So I'm going to stop by everybody's house, man. I'm, I'm going to stop by the Ether Squad house. Uh, We're going to get some con drop, man. And so now I'm at Kirmil's house. Right? And we're going to get it from none other than Benjamin Franklin, right? So I'm going to let Con Kirmil do his thing. And get some perspective. Pop off, Con. Oh. Wanted to start uh, with this right here real quick. Go ahead, go ahead. It's, uh, mm -hmm. again, the book that we've gone over before. It's uh, The Observations uh, Concerning the Increase of Mankind and Peopling of Countries. Okay, okay. Uh, by Benjamin Franklin. Right. And uh, this one says 1755, but uh, I guess it was written in... Now. See that? We ain't making this shit up. 1751. Uh, just realized, but this was this particular one was published in 1755. All right, all right. All right, and just want to uh, remind everybody, you know, what has been said, you know, before and, you know, by who. Mm -hmm. So I want to read from here. It says, and since uh, detachment of English from Britain sent to America will mm -hmm. have their places of home, so soon supplied and increased so large. Largely here, why should the Palatine boars be suffered to swarm into our settlements? And boars, I mean, like the poor people, like poor people, you know, mm -hmm. peasants. And he's saying, why should, uh, you know, the these German people be allowed to come, you know? Like, why why are we, you know, bringing so many over here? He's That's what Benjamin Franklin is saying, right? And, and why should we be suffered to swarm into our settlements and by herding together establish their languages and manners to the exclusion of ours? Why should Pennsylvania, founded by the English, become a colony of aliens who will shortly be so numerous as to Germanize us instead of our anglifying them? So he's saying, whoa, we should be anglifying them instead of getting Germanized. What does he mean by that? And we'll never adopt our language or customs any more than they can acquire our complexion. Huh? Papa, huh? All right, so Benjamin Franklin is saying, you know, <laughs> they're not even our complexion, right? So he's talking about Germans, but I thought they were all white. I thought he was white. I thought Germans was white. What is he talking about? So I know we've read this before, and we know what he means. So yeah, he's letting us know straight up that Germans are not the same complexion as what he is in his time. There you go. Which leads me to add one remark, he says, that the number of uh, purely white people in the world all right, it's proportionally very small. All mm -hmm. Africa's black or tawny. Mm -hmm. Asia is chiefly tawny. All right, so again, all Africa is black or tawny. Asia, chiefly tawny. 
Come on with America it. America is closest of the newcomers, so America instead of the new people, you know, other than the new people, it's holy. So holy what? Black or tawny? Holy. You hear that? When you making this shit up? Black or tawny, America. And in Europe, the Spaniards, the Italians, the French, the Russians, and the Swedes are generally of what we call a swarthy complexion, as are the Germans also. The Saxons only accepted who, with the English, make the principal body of the white people on the face of the earth. So according to Benjamin Franklin, you know, his, his people, who he's saying is, are the English, but we know there's also black Britain, so whatever English he's talking about. And uh, Anglo-Saxons, he says, but we're going to read today if the Anglo-Saxons were really always white, you know. Um, but, you know, according to him in his time, that's what he's saying is the only white people on the earth, on the face of the earth. All right. They're a minority. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He says, I could wish their numbers were increased. I wish we were more. <laughs> I wish we were more deep. And while we are, as I may call it, scoring our planet by clearing America of woods uh, and so making this side of our globe reflect a brighter light. Who came chopping down your crystal trees, huh? And you wonder why you connect to a movie like Avatar? Huh? All right, so they're clearing our woods. What? Taking down our woods? Yeah. And making this a brighter light? Making it more light? Tell what does he mean by that? that? In the eyes of the inhabitants of Mars or Venus, all right, his ancestors, what is he talking about? Why should we in the sun? Got him. Put the camera on the head. And while we are, as I may call it, scoring our planet, our, get your ass out of here, a being, uh, by clearing America of woods and so making this side of our globe ain't nobody sharing shit with you heathen reflect a brighter light to the eyes of the inhabitants of who Mars or who Phoenix so you see who they worship who else worship uh, 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 and, and, and revere right Show reverence. <laughs> Let's just say that. Uh, to uh, uh, Mars, huh? Who else does that? So where is Ben Franklin getting this shit from? Because it sounds like the same dumb shit we've heard before. Excuse my French, man. Uh, Southwest uh, uh, Atlanta raised me. So I'm a little brash uh, when you come over here to my channel. So y'all got to excuse me. I give you a hint. Huh? I told you, man. We see you. We know who you are. You've been playing God. Somebody's been playing God in Northern Africa. Who also, as Ben Franklin, who taught Ben Franklin? Huh? Their Masonic order. Who also, as Ben Franklin, revere Mars. The same tribe of people revere Mars. Let's dig on it. Alright. I'ma stop by my con, man. My good con, my tawab up. Con drop. <laughs> hey man, shout out to the Ether Squad. Hey, they make it easy for me, man. Really, man. I mean, without these ox, man, uh, it wouldn't be no nine spiral channel. So y'all, you know, uh, uh, thank them brothers. You feel me? Check them out. Dig on their content. Um, one nation, one drop. So y'all see where we're going with it? And this is an old drop. Like this old, this this is this, this the young drop right here. This is the young cunt drop. Back in the days, right? And we're gonna dig on it. Let's go. Bye -bye, Hello. My name is Momar, the uh -huh. British Martian. What? I you said what? Run that back. Hello. My name is Momar, the British Martian. I Momar, 
the Morris Martian. Momar, the Morris Martian, okay? Hail from a solar system called Tau Ceti, which is 12 light years or 4 parsecs. He hailed from a solar system called Tau Ceti. Okay. It's from your solar system. Tau Ceti is in the Cetus constellation and is also very close to the Zeta Reta QI binary constellation. Okay. We have informed the scientists of your planet that the name we call our sun star is Tau Ceti and the planet from which I reside is called Tau Ceti E, the fourth planet from our sun star. There are also beings who reside on the fifth planet from our sun star called Tau Ceti F. I am related to the species which has frequently visited your planet. So you see where they get this shit from? Oh, y'all think we'd be making this shit up, huh? Okay. You have called Grace. However, the pale gray ones that frequently visit your planet are from Tau Ceti F which is a planet farther away from our sun star than my home planet of Tau Ceti E. And this is why they are pale and gray in appearance, because their home is farther away from our sun star. My species, which is much darker in appearance, come from the planet Tau Ceti E, which is closer to our sun. Like Kwame Brown say, you still think we're crazy? <laughs> We even built a face on Mars, which is wearing a fez to prove that we did indeed visit Mars. Oh, man. In fact, <laughs> I can't make this shit up. <laughs> now, do y'all see the pattern of destruction that these motherfuckers leave behind? Do you see that they leave a pattern of destruction behind? Wow. Oh, look at this other celestial plane we were on. It's all effed up. We did some experiments. Oh, look at, uh, let's, let, let's hijack Earth. <laughs> wow. Let's hijack this particular plane. Wow. Oh, for father and son, right? We'll do it for father and son. Hey, man, come on, man. God damn. God damn. <laughs> no, man. All right, man, we're going <laughs> we're gonna to get it. We're going to get it again. All right. Uh, whew. But I'm weak. I'm weak, boy. I had to take a break, man, to pause. Well, I took about a 15 minute break. I'm weak. Wow. All right, y'all, we can't make this shit up. Let's get it. Bye bye, come on. Also, these structures can be found back on our home world of Tau Ceti. Mm -hmm. We even built a face on Mars, which is wearing a fez to prove that we did indeed visit Mars. Wow. Look, man, Woo. I can't make this shit up. Woo. I promise I did not go animate some shit and put it out. Boy, right. boy, boy. Look, man, mm -hmm. love to the bro. <laughs> Love to the bro, Chris Duncan, man. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Mars on Mars, man. <laughs> Those are the fans, but, you know, it looks like a European. It's crazy, you know. Um, I mean, maybe that's, maybe that's what it is, man. Um... Yeah, man. I don't know. Oh, There's no way, man. In my wildest imagination, in my wildest dream, could I have dreamt oh, that uh, someone would send me something Woo. like this, man? So, <laughs> Woo. <laughs> got him, Duncan, man. Cause... Got him. Being a famous saint, the Saint Christopher, saint which Christopher. is one example, saint are commonly referenced. Mm -hmm. Similar to the half goat man and so many skulls many hidden mean, from us today. And here we see the persecution of the chest heads, or at least a depiction of it. And We're talking about the chest face ass people. Let go. Very fascinating. And 
and again, a chest head, chest head. They seem to be pointing at something, and I'm sure the leaves and the flowers, the stones, everything has meaning in this art, of course. I, of course, at a first glance, I'm just taking it for face value, literally. No pun. And they said, taking it for face value. <laughs> Unintended. And yeah, why you're not? Fool, bro, Again, if you're a creator, you're fool, we see so many different varieties of creation. Just in the insect world alone, for example. Why wouldn't it be at some point in time? Whether you believe in creationism or evolution. I mean, can you just can can you in, imagine encountering something like this any days of time? This nigga in a grocery store, and you accidentally bump into him. Like, what you want to do? Get out my face, nigga! Like, could you hold? Could you hold in your lap, nigga? Get out my face! <laughs> Surely there would have to be thousands of possibilities, and here we go. Totally shocking. Let's just get right into it. Let's get into Bone. it. Now. Oh, man, come on, John. What happened, John? Um, whether you believe in creationism or evolution, surely there would have to be thousands of possibilities. And here we go. Totally shocking. Let's just get right into it. Bum. Bam! Got it! Put the music on. You still think it's a game? Look at it. All right, let go. Pop all, John. Oh, now, now this is it. Or this is one of them. Yeah, that's and it at right first, there. You look at this. You ain't bullshitting. That is it. That is a it. Picture and you say, where's the head? Has it been photoshopped out? And this looks very yeah, old. I think we get a better picture of this in a moment. And please, somebody even let me know anything about this creature. This being, which there are obviously many. Who's responsible for this shit right here? Huh? Alright, I had to stop by my con, uh, natural by law. All right, we at uh, Natural by Law House, man. We in his crib, man. And um, he's going to break it down for us. I'm going to let him do his thing, right? Pop off, cut. See, everybody wants to be a Indian. Right, right. Everybody want to be an American Indian. Mm-hmm. All right, everybody loves using these pictures. I'm a Nardis Montanans, right? Everyone loves using these kind of pictures. Everyone loves being an American Indian. But um, who can explain what this is, right? How many of you Indians out there can explain what this is, right? <laughs> no, because Drop Nation already knows. Let's go. Here at Drop Nation, 
the steadily in the indigenous truth. Let's go. Let's go. Steadily in the indigenous truth. Now, if I blow this up. Right. You see the turbans and such. Those are Moors. Let's go. Right. You see the Autochthons, the natural ones, Indians. All right, we see some more garb and turban. You know what I'm saying? You see this in the back? So, uh, what is this? Who is this? All right? Why do y'all want to throw shots, right? Everybody want to throw shots at the real one. But, I mean, who's, who, who can explain what this is? And how come there's Indians around, right? And how come this is set up where the Indians are? Why is this in the house, in the temple, in the building of the Indians? Especially with this. Or Israelites, for that matter. Ezekiel chapter 8, verse 6 through 10. Let's get it. Furthermore, he said to me, Son of man, do you see what they are doing? The great abominations that the house of Israel commits here. To make me go far away from my sanctuary. Now turn again. You will see greater abominations. So he brought me to the door of the court. Huh? And when I looked, there was a hole in the wall. Then he said to me, son of man, dig into the wall. And when I dug into the wall, there was a door. And he said to me, go in and see the wicked abominations, which they are doing. They are doing there. huh? You see that? So I went in and saw, and there, every sort of creeping thing, abominable beast, and all the idols of the house of Israel portrayed around on the walls. And there stood before me, before them, 70 men of the elders of the house of Israel. Huh? In fact, if anyone, if anyone has this in color, please, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and drop that in the comment. Ahab, Ahab. Ahab. But yeah, I mean, what is this? What is this that we're looking at? You see what you see? You see what this is? Shout out to Yohannatan, Hebrew Prince. Yo, shout out to Yohannatan, man. I see you, man. Eat the squad. We working now. Let's dig on these characters. Huh? It looks like he might have a crown. He might be an old Edomite. So I see an Edomite and a Moabite. They run together. They run together. All right. We're back at Caramel Crib. We're going to pop off with the con. Come on, let's get it. So this is the uh, image I'm talking about right here. All right, all right. All right. Just... All right, we're going to zoom in real quick. I don't want to spend too much time on it, but it shows uh, a list of the kings, of the Inca kings. This is Manco Capag right here, the, all the way to the left. 
and his uh, queen all the way to the right. That's Mama Waka. Mama Waka. Okay. Waka. Okay. Wakanda. Waka. All right. And then we got the Inca kings after him. Iowata. All right. We even got the Jaguar Waka. The Jaguar Waka. Huh? Number seven. All right. And around here we got Vita Kocha. All the way in the left. Some say Vita Kocha is Quetzalcoatl. It's Quetzalcoatl. There you go. All right. But what I want to show you is the person all the way to the right. Oh, there you are. Down uh-huh. in the bottom. That's actually Charles uh, the Fifth. Charles the Fifth, right there. Same one. You see him? Put the camera on his head. You see him? Throwing up the devil horns right there. That's them right there. They responsible for the shit that was going on in Northern Africa along with the goddamn uh, the Moors. The descendants of the Moabites. So the descendants of Edomites and Moabites are responsible for the abominations that we digging on. No doubt about it. In Northern Africa. And I'm going to show you that. And I'm going to show you uh, how the the most high feels about it. Let's go. All right. We at my man Autodidactic's channel. And uh, we're digging on Edom and Moab. Now, I want you to pay attention as uh, we observe his work, right? The intermingling of them with these. Watch how they intermingle, right? And you tell me who's teaching who. So now we begin to understand where Benjamin Franklin got that absurd shit from, right? About Mars. You're going to see with your eyes, right? Allow me to show you the significance of this critical analysis. Somebody got to be held accountable. And I'm not one of those. I'm I'm the Naga. They're not afraid to point the finger. I'm here to convict you devils. Pop off. So in my mind, right, they gonna usually be rocking crowns. I would say an Edomite, right? Moab, you gonna see usually rocking turbans. Let me get into it.
Do you see the intermingling? So who's teaching who, huh? You got some little ones in the back? Who's teaching who about nobility? Let's go. Nah, go back. See that? He look like a whole another bad creation in itself. Huh? See the turban? He would be a descendant of the ancient Moabites. Let's go. Who's teaching who, huh? Who's civilizing who? You see that? But they got a whole blue diamond, don't it? Show your ass out of here, boy. Uh, uh, the B Bishop Magic Don Juan head on. There you go, people. Y'all got to see it. Y'all got to see it. Don't run from the truth. They civilized Europe, Spain. Come on now. Don't get it twisted. The Holy Roman Church is melanated. Those people you see in the Vatican is just the front. It's just the front. Your oppressors are very clever, very crafty. The Most High said they are very crafty.
See that? Now they got them wearing turbans and shit. Let's go. Another way I like to distinguish is uh, Moab. You're going to see more in the robes and shit. Edomites, you're going to see them more in the, the night gear, right? Let's go. See these melanated um, children standing over these people here with the looks of a crown that they're holding, huh? Naga, you see what's going on? Oh, yeah, they hate you, so-called Negro. Your brethren hate you. There's no doubt about it. This is the north. This is the north. I hope that's clear. This is the north. All right, so then this would be the south over here. Anyway, some interesting points on this map. Look at these alien races here, all living under the ground. Creatures, all the different monsters. All right. What are these little eyes? See the eye here, and an eye there, and eye there, and eye there. Eyeballs all over the place. And rivers that come out from them. Here, here. There were some very important things. See these dragons. 
these were important to put in maps before. And they should probably still be in the maps today. What they call legends in some of the maps, of course. Uh, and, uh, but here you have, what are all these really, looks like, oof, I don't know, uh, cities and things, all down in Africa. Huh? Looks Africa. like they have more there than they had in Europe. Okay, well, the point a friend was uh, was sharing was, look, uh, as Northern Africa, huh? Now, all I ask is a question, right? Let me put some music on. All we ask a question at Drop Nation is. What the this, what does this right here right? This guy right here. What does that guy has to do? This right here. That's all we want to know. That's all we ask. So now do you see how we've been lied to, right? About everything. It's time we come towards the truth, y'all. The truth loves us. <laughs> you just got to embrace it, that's all. Alright, so that concludes um, this video about the um, chest face ass people. Indeed. There you go, people. My tribe. The chest face ass people. Oh, chest face ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> 